Hello guys, I'm Alex here and um, we've got a um, tech video today actually. Um, this is a format I haven't done but I've talked about in my last video, or was it the uh, one after the last video, right, yeah. So I've talked about this uh, format uh, for a while now and, and um, it's been like two weeks, three weeks, I don't know. Still, um, so tech videos are coming up and this is going to be a start of them. Um, well, we're starting with a downgrader, if you don't know what that is. Um, I mean, if you can see right here, we've got an iPhone. I mean, it's, it's an iPod Touch 5th generation, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So, um, so we've got this here, which uh, we have it jailbroken. And the process of jailbreaking, I don't know, I'll just link, link another video like uh, under this one. So we can watch, but I, 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 I'm, I'm going to try to um, l later on in, the, in, in the YouTube experience. I'm going to try to um, make videos about how to jailbreak phones, and for that matter, iPods too. Um, but today's video, we're going to have to um, install a tweak called a downgrader because I've seen on the internet, and it, it, a lot of people don't understand. Like they don't know exactly how to install this. So I'm just doing them a favour and I'm just going to upload this to some kind of Reddit form or something every time that I see a person um, arguing about how it's hard to use that tool or is it like impossible or something. Um, yeah, but we'll, we'll get into this right uh, shortly. So um, all we need to do is we have to open up Cydia here um, and yeah, so yeah, it's gonna load up some things like some configuration files and stuff like that. Um, uh, if you're opening it for the first time or something, so I so see here we've got three or uh, thirteen updates. I mean, I think you can update it here. Um, let's see. This is like the sources is basically a package manager if you know what I mean. Like if you use Linux or something it's called apt in, in Debian and we've got um Pacman arc based distros and etc basically. Uh DP, uh DPKG basically, um we've got PKG. Okay, so return to Cydia. We've got the whole uh, like library of Cydia here. And we can search here as well as add new repos. So today, what we'll have to, uh, what we're going to have to do is we're going to be adding a repo called uh, Henry's GitHub, uh, actually he Henry's uh, Cydia repo. So um, I don't know exactly who Henry is, but well, like if we look here on a desktop, a desktop, got Henry with a six by the way, um, GitHub IO right here as the repo name. So we're just gonna all we all we're gonna need to do is we're gonna have to copy all of this and add it into um, uh, the phone here. After that, we're just gonna need to um, install the tweak. So okay, so let's see that. So let's just click that add, and we're gonna have to type this right in here. Uh, H six N R Y uh, dot git it's very hard to um, type with a single hand especially like when I'm ho holding a camera here um, po and that should be it now it's going to verify the URL and there we go it's updating the f sources once again It's going to take some time either way, so return to Cydia. Now you can see here, let me just focus that right back in there. Okay, it's focused now. It was not focusing for a while. So you can see I hit Henry Repo right here. So I've got all packages. So apparently, it's the first package here. So um, we can either go here, and if you do have a lot of repos and you don't want to, like, go in the clutter and uh, I mean so you can always search for it like a downgrader uh, downgrader right there it is and we've got a um, page showing what it can do basically 
um, to find out the external version that identifier basically it's got everything here yeah so modify here we've got to install it and continue or confirm I didn't really quite see what it was there but so it's going to download a lot of things, unpack things, and uh, setting. Uh, it's going to set up things, and then it's going to ask us to uh, restart the spring springboard, which I already did, and the tweak is p pretty much installed. Now I don't really have anything to do on this iPod, so um, let's just switch to my iPhone 5 quickly, and iPhone 5, which I have handy right here. Um, so we're going to be da demonstrating on how to install um, something like, I don't know, I mean, you can basically install whatever you want as long as it's in, on the App Store and a database that I have found on the internet has that identifier available there. As long as those two conditions are um, pretty much um, true like if, if they both both contain your needed requirements and uh, the app is uh, listed there you are basically set so when a downgrader is downloaded into your phone why is it not responding okay um, so it's going to have this menu appear in, in the settings basically the settings of the phone um, so we're going to go into here and obviously we're going to be c uh, clicking on enable and now well, the thing you're going to be noticing for example if we go to um, at the app store for example I've got a hill cl climb racing here why is it installing? Um, I think we'll have to um, just reload it here because so for example if you go back into the app store um, and we go and let's see if it loads, come on by the way just in case you were wondering this was gone for a while but now without any tweaks for some reason we've got the app store back which is very nice now we've got it loaded here um, we'll have to press get like it's nothing uh, nothing's really different here we're just gonna have to uh, press get here um, come on, install, and here you can see it brings up a prompt saying um, downgrade your app with a different external version that I identified. Now it's going to bring the app version like that exact, uh, exactly at this time point we've got this identifier for hill climb racing as an app, but we're going to need something else so um, and where to find it firstly. Um, so we're going to go back to the PC basically and this time it's called lands uh, land tools tools dot lansley dot tech is the URL and again this is going to be links under a video so firstly the website's going to be in Chinese so you would want to translate it into English if you don't know Chinese in fact um, but uh, a summary is that we'll have to go to Apple Tools or whatever it says here which is Apple Tools as expected it to be and we're going to go to what uh, App Historical Version Query here and um, so region I mean we're going to go for the USA because China we know all of us we know um, they've got restrictions and stuff and we're just gonna have to fill up the name so in my case it's hill climb racing which I've already done um, and it just brings it up here sometimes it could be slow like because sometimes it didn't even load so so we're gonna have to scroll scroll down and usually we've got the timestamp on where it's um, when it was released right here um, I'll show it on another app just uh, let me just do this okay so let's go back to the sunny website okay so if you want to like see how it will show um, the other things let's see um, for example let's go to the podcast up here, uh, up here. Um, Apple podcast here so you can see it's updated on um, 2016.06.13 here with the version ID here and the version number here but it's not the same here so um, 
I recommend you to uh, download these because you can already see the timestamps here. And actually, this app does have the updates like um, appearing here, like the descriptions of the updates and stuff like that. Um, Podcast 11, uh, 1.1 added supports for iOS 6, so this is going to be the version you've got to have to do download if you want that authentic 2012 basically version of that uh, um, podcast. Um, so that came out in um, September 21st. Um, yeah, apparently, like when the iPhone 5 came out. So, yeah, that's to be expected, of course. Um, so, for example, let's go with this version here. Um, that's version 13, um, 1.13. Um, so, we're going to have to go back to our phone here. There we go. Just like so. We're back at the phone. Let's just make this. There we go. So, let's see. So, the version query is 25, 6, 2, uh, 8, 2, and 6, 5, 8. There we go. And it should download already. Let's see if it asks me for an Apple ID or something. Because it could do that. I don't know if I do have it in my Apple. Oh, oh yeah, I don't. And it should download now. Well, oh, yeah. Also, yeah, I forgot to tell you that if it does not do it, that means if you confirm the Apple ID, it's going to ask you again. So if it does bring this up again, don't think it's not working. It's just going to ask you again, and it's going to work right out of the box, basically, after that. So let me add another query here. Um, that's 25. Actually, the same query would be nice, because we're just downgrading to that version. 82, uh, 65, 8. There we go. Should be it. Come on. And it's downloading. Right here, see, that's waiting. And let's see. I mean, it's got to. Oh, oh, there it goes. Loading. Let's just focus it back into here. Yep, there it goes. It's downloading the old version. So that's pretty much it. Let me just download this video uh, thing and we'll end the video there. But yeah, I'm going to make some content like this in the future. If you do like it, just like the video and, you know, subscribe if you do, you do want to see some things like this in the future. And we've got a lot of things to talk about on this phone. There's things that are literally a relic of the past. So guys, the app now has successfully downloaded. And it's right there, sitting on my home screen. And, um... Let's just get into it right now. See if it works properly. Oh no. Well, we're going to have to disable this firstly. Okay, it does work. It does work. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's turn it off and back on. Oh yeah, there we go. That, that pretty much fixes it. It's going to do this. Don't worry about that. Um, gonna just have to oh crap what is going on what is actually going on uh, yeah download continue download I don't care come on we're gonna have to turn this off it it will do that occasionally after you install that I don't know why exactly but here we go this is hill crime uh, racing right here installed this is the old version, I don't know how to prove it, I don't know anything about this game and how um, it was like differentiated the versions in, in um, particular. But we've got all these worlds, we've got a vehicle here, um, and basically everything works as expected and this is the vanilla version installed from the App Store. So let's just lower the volume so it does not... Um, get me copyrighted or anything, I don't know exactly what it will do, but this is a downgrade at working here on this iPhone, um, and if you do want to see any videos like this in the future, I'd uh, recommend you to subscribe to the channel and uh, ring that bell if you want to, like the video if you liked it, if you don't want to subscribe, I'm not going to force you to do that, but uh, there's a lot of videos coming in this format, so... 
peace to everyone and I'm gone.